gatefolded vinyl that we're releasing now and uh, you know I know a lot of people that are really into vinyl they say it sounds much better and everything and uh, maybe this is a way to start actually getting people to buy uh, physical records and not only mp3s or download them so I think it's really good and cool Oh, well, actually, it was me that uh, made that song. Uh, I wanted to do something really heavy. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it turned out quite heavy, too. And, uh, well, the lyrics is, as usual, made by Tommy. And it's, it's uh, well, just listen to them and you'll understand what it's all about. Yeah, I think so. Uh, people seem to be getting it. Uh, if I, I mean, the last time I was visiting, uh, I watched uh, some comments from our uh, video for "Forgiveness Denied," and there's a lot of uh, discussion going on there about the lyrics and the theme behind it all. So, yeah, I think so. It's basically the same theme, same kind of lyrics uh, for "Blessed by the Priest." And so, yeah, I think so, definitely. Uh, once we started the, you know, the real process of writing new songs, I guess it took about, I don't know, five or six months or something. And uh, yeah, there are, there are not complete songs that didn't make it to the album, because, I mean, you feel kind of, if, it, if a song does not fit or isn't good enough, you kind of feel it uh, once you have written like three or four riffs. And uh, then you either use some of those riffs for a new song or you just, you just throw it away and don't use it anymore. So yeah, there are some like half songs or something that we didn't use. Uh, for some reason, there are always people that aren't into death metal. Uh, they seem to think it's okay to make fun of our music. It's not like they're being rude or something. They just make jokes about it. But you know, I mean, I wouldn't make such jokes about other people's hobbies if they like to paint. I wouldn't tell them that it sucks, and unless it did, <laughs> no, I wouldn't tell them anyway. <laughs> but uh, knowing that. For some reason, there's always okay to make jokes about death metal and their musicians. So I don't know why, but... In March, we have a festival gig in Sweden at House of Metal. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we have a, um, a shorter uh, tour with Obscura uh, in Germany, Austria and uh, Switzerland. It's going to be awesome too. And uh, we have a Japan tour in uh, July. It's going to be pretty awesome too. <laughs> so I'm just repeating this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we do have some other things that may come to happen. And we really hope it will, but I can't really say anything about it because it's not, uh, not uh, confirmed yet. Tonight, I hope you'll show up the next time we'll hear. Uh, well, always you can just buy your music, check it out. On your knees, you'll be. 
Ready for damnation. Oh.